against or opposes it. Okay. Well, um, as we stated earlier, I, I grew up in Ann Arbor and am a financial planner and a financial educator, which I think are good skills to bring to city council. I think that um, I have always been a good liaison for my clients, helping to represent their best interests, and that is the same thing I'd like to do with Ward 1 residents, listening to the residents and voicing their concerns. Um, I got my start in politics uh, by being uh, Yusuf Rabi's treasurer while he was on county commissioner, and his mother, Peggy Rabi, is now my campaign chair. Um, I would like, to, again, to thank the League of Women Voters for having us here tonight and for my uh, friend Jason, Jason Frenzel here. I hope that uh, folks will vote for Ann Bannister on August 8th. I ask for your vote. I'd like to be a champion for Ann Arbor values, for harmonious development that is in keeping with our, our existing neighborhoods and, our nurtur and nurturing to our businesses. And I would also like to work for transparency in our local government and, uh, and protecting our river from the dioxin plume and public safety, especially with regards to our school children and repairing our uh, neglected streets and sewers and um, make sure, again, on the development uh, in, with regards to our infrastructure, uh, taking into account that increased development puts added strain on our roads and our sewers and our traffic and our gridlock. So we need to be very responsible and I look forward to listening to the voters and responding to them uh, and rep uh, please vote for Ann on August 8th. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ann, sir. We'll move on to closing statement from Mr. Frenzel. We made it. That's great. Yes. <laughs> um, first, I wanted to thank you all for uh, the opportunity to be here. I think that these forums are a critical component to our local democracy in action. So thank you to the League and the CTM for supporting us. Um, as we know, uh, the government is a complex organization. Um, even the, our current president has finally realized that. Um, we, uh, it has been my life's work to make sure that we do not oversimplify uh, issues when we're talking to residents. Bringing uh, oversimplifying issues to me creates disenfranchisement and disempowerment. It also leads to uh, us versus them mentality that we do not need uh, in our community. Um, be it related to municipal <coughs> budgeting or how zoning and development works, uh, our residents uh, have the capacity and deserve to understand the complexities of these issues. Uh, and I uh, have the ability to articulate them uh, to our residents and have work to do so. Um, over the past few months, I have uh, continued my life's work to um, both empower and advocate on behalf of our residents. Um, we, at this point in time, uh, especially now, need leaders uh, who see the multitude of perspectives in our communities, uh, find deeper solutions to complex issues. We need to protect and support all of our residents, be them LGBTQ and I, people of color, or the old and young alike. Uh, we need to fight a movement that's happening at both of our state and national level, um, which puts our residents in peril, be it related to climate change or immigration enforcement. Um, we need to support our staff here in, in Ann Arbor and hold them to high standards, especially as it's related to development and policing. Um, I've been working on all these issues on your behalf for quite a few months now and look forward to doing so uh, into the future uh, with your support and your participation. You can find my contact information on my website. I'd love to hear from you.